What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today we're getting into another IAA walk around. We're going to walk around, check out some of the cool cars out here, try not to uh, lose the contents of our stomach and um, find some good deals. So without further ado, let's jump into it. First things first, how about a Lexus SUV? Now this one looks like it's seen better days. I don't know if that headlight is savable, but a lot of the plastics and stuff are broke. Crash bar looks like it's fine. Looks like it's all cosmetic on this end. It is a 2021 Lexus RX. Does it have the big boy screen? No, it does not. It's kind of a base model RX. Nice leather. She's very clean. Only 8,000 miles, so pretty much brand new. Runs. That's a win. Recently had service. Wasn't due for service until 12,000 miles. It's from California, obviously. AC is ice cold, like from the start. I wish my BMW would blow like this ice cold from the start. Oh, average is about 16 miles a gallon. Nice. A little over half a tank of fuel in it. This one wouldn't be a bad pickup. You're going to pay for it, though, because it's, you know, it is basically a Toyota. It's a Lexus. Uh, people will overbid on these like absolute nuts. And I mean, like, super overbid. Like, super overpay for these cars. And then, well, something like this where it's mostly cosmetic, it could be like a sensor or two. And then, like, the fender, the, you know, the headlight could be expensive, but it doesn't look like it's the all LED. So, probably not that expensive. But if you could get this for the right price for a decent deal, it's got the sunroof, not the panoramic, so that's cool. Huh. It's got the uh, SOS button. It's got the uh, launch the missiles button. I don't know, man. This one's not bad. Not bad for what it is. Pretty clean. Yes, I'm soaking wet. I'm sweating like a pig. This does not look bad at all. I could see this as a decent little pickup. And not even for something to flip. Like, this is something you buy and you keep. No check engine lights, no error codes, nothing. It's literally cosmetic repair and keep it moving. Now, on you, for you, the lights are probably flickering or whatever. That's because of the refresh rate of the camera and the LED lights that power the thing. It's actually not flickering for me. It's just how the camera sees it for you guys. Same thing with this. You guys can see the screen the same way. But anyways, uh, there it is, man. We'll keep it moving. This one is not bad. I think this one could be a decent little pickup for the right price i like it i really do i really like this one huh oh uh, well guys some of those nissans are selling as you can see there's another one right there just like i picked up mine um they're selling out here fairly cheap all right guys keeping it moving see what else we can find out here today And yes, because it is so damn hot and they did put the pavement out here, which makes it a little bit hotter. You know, I haven't worn my my old boots in a while. And uh, being that I'm not so fat anymore and I can fit the damn things, my ankles ain't cankles. <laughs> I can fit my old boots. All right. Da 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 da. I've looked at this Tahoe before, it's disgusting. All right. Huh. When do we have, ooh, that looks gnarly. Is that a FJ Cruiser? Yeah, it is. Yo. How you do that, bro? Oof. You took the Limp Biscuit song way too serious, man. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Whoo! I think today is going to be the Dually edition. I mean, we did get to check the Lexus out, but there's just so many nice big trucks out here right now that we got to look at these, man. Look at this 3500 Duramax. 
Look, it says knock, knock on the glass. Does it have a no start order? I don't see one. Oh, it came from Odessa. You know, Alley Financial. Probably a repo. You know, with the knock, knock, guac, guac, 3000. It's probably dead as a doornail. She is. Whew. Clean in here, though. I mean, it's dirty, but I mean, like, it's not totally disgusting. If it needs a motor, it's kind of worthless, but. Huh? It comes from the CarMax auctions, because that's what it is now CarMax. Odessa is basically CarMax at this point. Okay. Let's take a look under the hood. See if we see anything noticeable. Nothing that's clearly noticeable, so. But if it's got a knock, knock, knock like it says on the thing, I'm sure that the motor does. Could be something as simple as bad glow plug, turbo issue, who knows. But with 339,000 miles on it, you know, engine issue probably wouldn't be too far out of the realm of possibility. But not bad, though, for the money, right? I mean, not bad as far as something you would see out here. Cosmetically, she looks great. So let's keep it moving. I see that dually over there. We'll check that ram out here in a minute but let's go right over here to this denali hd denali all right guys this is actually beautiful i feel bad for that fender but i'd probably fender work that and call it a day uh-oh stuff laying on the engine that's never good open is it a non-runner uh-oh man you busted both fenders i bet you they stole this and was running from something and got pinched because the front end right here took took a nice little ding too nothing outside of the like the headlight is definitely savable didn't break or nothing so oh i say that and now i see this little chip but it's not cracked it's normal so that's i would let that go fender bumper plastic piece this is just cosmetic if it runs if it runs God, interior looks nice. She supposedly has power, but she's probably dead too, though. Oh, it smells like ass. 142,000 miles? That's not a lot. Wait for the glow plug light. Runs like a champ. Runs like a champ. Get these license plates out of the way. Back looks good, the interior looks good. WeatherTech rubber mats in the rear. She runs. And runs like this. Let's see if the AC and stuff works. Heep. Woo! All right. Oh, air conditioned seats too. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let me see. She smells a little bit like ass, like mildewy a little bit, like she might have got wet. But I'm willing to bet somebody just stole it. Maristar. I never heard of them before, but it is from Texas. Texas inspection is current until 23. I'm willing to bet it was somebody's work truck. I see some tool stuff back there. It's probably somebody's work truck. Steering looks good. Brakes work goes in the gear she moves man 
this right here might be a solid little deal. For real. Huh. Got your trailer brake right here. You can adjust that. The gain on the brake. See that? Four wheel drive. I mean, it's a Denali Dually from 2015, right? This is nice. Like, this, like I'm not going to lie to you. If I got one of these, man, if I was able to find one of these for the right price and I got it where I wasn't getting raped to buy it, like, when I tell you this would be my end-all, be-all vehicle, I would daily drive this shit everywhere. This would be my vehicle. That's it. No BMW, no car, no nothing. I don't need these big-ass wheels and stuff that are on it, but it'd be nice. Denali in the head. I mean, everything in here is the interior is, is butter. It's good to go. Pedals move. Yep, the telescoping pedals and stuff move. Exhaust brake comes up. Lane departure. Come on, man. This thing has got everything, man. Eat a dick. There is no content of this type available. <laughs> oh, my seat's going up. Because I opened the door so it's, it if slides up. Radio station, say the command tune, followed by an AM or FM station. How about, like, shut up? How about that? There we go. But the AC does work like a champ. That engine is solid, man. Yeah, I'm interested in this. You can see it on my face too. I'm literally like Birdman hand rub. Like I'm adding this to my watch list. Mm. Next oil change wasn't due until 145,000 miles, and it's not even anywhere near that. So it just got serviced. So somebody probably stole this shit and then wrecked it. That's my guess. Sad. Super, super sad. Can't have nice things, man. People are scumbags. Well, let me know what you guys think about this one. I'm interested. I want it. I almost missed that dinging sound. Man. I don't know. This dually definitely has my name on it. I want it. I want it like yesterday. Put her down. There we go. Now she looks like a truck. But yeah, that thing is beautiful, man. That thing right there is absolutely beautiful. All right. So next, <laughs> I told you, is Dually Day, baby. <laughs> it's friggin' big truck day. We looked at that Lexus, and then, boom, Dooleys. I actually like these old combat boots out here on this gravel. My ankles feel nice and sturdy. Love this. This dually looks good. 3,500 Ram. Fifth wheel on it. Yeah. Damn, this bitch is clean, clean, though. What the hell? Bank power. Okay. It's here from an insurance company. Wow, I don't see any damage. It's got to be... Oh, it's got Harley Davidson handles. I'm wondering what's up with this. Cloth seats, which kind of suck. Only 48,000 miles. Wow. All right, let's see if the seat, seat goes back. Power seat. All right. What's up with this, man? There's got to be something... Severely, oh, it smells wet. That towel's wet. Don't tell me you backed this into Lake Mead. I bet you that's what happened. They probably backed the damn thing into the lake. Let's wait for the glow plugs to drop and we'll see what happens. Three, two, one. Runs like a champ. And only 48,000 miles? Shit. I like the Denali. I ain't gonna lie. I really like the Denali. But this, like for a ram. Oh, look at the brake flashing. Or is the brake doing that? This thing got air brakes. So why are the brake flashing? So they got a brake light flashing. That's not good. Waiting to see if the air conditioning comes on. It does. 
We're gonna let her run for a minute and see what happens because uh, that's crazy. Close this up. I wonder why the brake light's on like that. Let's see if she actually has brake stuff, shall we? Oh! She doesn't go anywhere in gear. Is there an e-brake? Ah. Uh, that might be why. So that brake light was the e-brake. All right, cool. Now does she move under her own power? Yes, okay. I was gonna say, oh, it's a transmission, which wouldn't surprise me in a truck like this to have a transmission issue. She runs, man, she goes in the gear, she goes in a Ford reverse. Um, we're in four high right now. Let's see if she'll go to, oh. Well, that don't work. All right, something in the four wheel drive system broke. Cup holders, all that stuff works. I mean, with a truck like this that only has 48,000 miles, I would expect it to work good. You got the remote for the radio, not bad. The seats, they had dogs, evidently. Look at all the hair on the seat. So they had dogs, but this truck, um, the bank's bullet is not working. Okay. But I bet you it runs and drives fine. Let's see what's up with the brakes. All right, so the trailer brake is here. Status okay, minimal auxiliary fuel monitoring system. Huh. She runs fine, man. I don't see her smoking or doing anything crazy. Averaging about 9.9 .9 per gallon. <laughs> Big old dually. I would buy this in a heartbeat. I would. Even if it's missing the four-wheel drive or the four-wheel drive's broke, I wouldn't give a shit. I'd just drive it as a dually. Like, I love, I love the Ram duallys. Even the generation before this. Um, I mean, I love that Denali. Don't get it twisted. I love that Denali. But this right here... I really, really like. Let's take a look under the hood. Oh, balls. Woo! Oh, that might be why. Fire damage? <laughs> the fact that this thing runs right now is retarded. Oh my god. Alright, let me shut this off. Hold on a second. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. This truck runs just fine. Runs. No issues. But it had an engine fire. And it looks like it's just that one wiring harness right there. But the wires aren't even effed. I'm wondering what got on fire or what caught on fire that caused that issue. I see the battery looks like it got a little toasty over there. It's something electrical for sure. But the fire itself looks like it's confined to just that. And you know what? It didn't burn. I mean, I see an exposed wire right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would just snip this here and there. It looks like, you know, the fire retardant, it looks like they hit it with an extinguisher or something right away. That's what that shit is. But, I mean, if especially, like, if it unplugs right here and it's just a wiring harness, or just, a like, if I you could split between, like, one side and another, like, say, like, right here, or and it melted a little bit. So like, I don't know, right here, snip, snip. And the rest of the wires aren't bad. F it, dude. Like, but still you want to know 
what caused the fire though and it's got to be something back there something with the engine i'm guessing but the fact that this damn thing runs and it's been in an engine fire is shocking to me wow 24 valve man huh and this battery terminal looks a little toasty too this look it started and it's missing a whole battery connection what the hell man that's a testament to ram isn't it jesus christ that is a testament to ram fired up engine fire on one battery <laughs> oh my god let's take a look at the engine oil black not too bad yeah this is not bad this could be a decent little truck i mean I, the engine fire stuff back there wouldn't scare me i'd clean it up find out try to find out where the source of the fire was which i'm willing to bet it was electrical because it looks like it's right there on that firewall and then um you know snip the wires fix whatever the hell it was and keep it moving and i bet you get this truck for dirt cheap because it's an electrical fire nobody will screw with it they won't even know that it's running damn that's what i'm talking about right there man hell of, these are the kind of crazy ass deals you can get if you just look man and last but not least guys even though this was mostly a truck video today guess what that's right one another nissan now the other nissan did sell i am going to do a full video on that and how much we made on it and that's why i'm here to pick up another one Look at this, clean, 2022. It is a CVT in the whole nine, but when I tell you she's brand new, like I mean, it's brand new. Flood damaged cars, but dirt cheap. Clean titles, by the way. Um, and I would be the first titled owner of the vehicle. Can't beat it. They had a bunch of these deals out here. This would be the second one that I've bought. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's video. No auction or anything after this one today, but uh, crazy today, man. The uh, the amount of nice dualies they had out here today just made my heart just burst with love. No, but seriously, uh, that ram was crazy, man. The fact that that thing had a fire, but mechan you know outside, uh, you know physically looks perfect. Look, it's just a damn stunner, right? Beautiful truck. And the fire damage, if it's electrical, like where I think it is right there, pretty simple to fix. You know, we had the two, Denali, we had the Denali, and then we had the 3500 Chevy Silverado, and then we had the basic Lexus. But, and then you guys see the Nissan I'm here to pick up today, bought another one. So, uh, you should see videos on that coming here very soon. If you uh, like today's video and you like what I do, Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And yes, I know you guys are waiting for another RV video. And I promise you, I got some coming for you guys here really soon. I just got to get up really early in the morning and get here before it gets to 100 degrees. You can see I'm struggling with this now. It's hot. And I'm just trying to get back to the car. So there you have it. Major shout out to IAA for allowing me to do what I do. Come out here and just have a, I just have so much fun out here, man. Looking at cars, trying to figure out the story on what happened with them. It's just, it's always a fun time, man. I always enjoy myself out here. But uh, there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let me know uh, what you guys want to see next. We got some bonus videos coming with motorcycles and other stuff too here in the future and i might be going to arizona to look at salvage airplanes crazy but that's a whole nother thing anyways whoo it's hot until next time thank you guys very much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next video